Now, Jessel, friend, I ain't trying to talk about your friend, but girl, your husband, Pavit, Pavit do look like Dory, girl. Pavit do look like Dory, girl. I'm friend. I don't want to talk about your friend. I really don't. I do not want to talk about you, friend. And I don't want to talk about your husband, friend, but girl, he look like Dory, girl. Let's be for real. Girl, when I tell you the Real Housewives of New York was such a kiki girl, oh my god! And I watched it on Peacock the night after or today, just a few minutes ago. Girl, such a kiki! I do have some hot takes, so we about to get into it. Hey, y'all! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle. This is the Belle Perspective, and we are here today to talk about the Real Housewives of New York. This is season fifteen, their series premiere for the season premiere, episode one, The Apple of My Life. If you're new to my channel, I talk about books, TV, reality TV, movies, all sorts of things on this channel. So absolutely get in where you fit in by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and absolutely getting into the comments and signing off and let me know what you think about the episode, okay? Don't forget to, um, I, I can't stress enough, don't forget to like this video before you leave. Let's get into this review, okay? Anyway, let's get into it. So, Girl, we start off with Brian. Girl, y'all already know how I feel about Brian. I'm gonna try not to. I'm trying not to put my foot on to, uh, her neck too much this episode because there's plenty of season for me to do that. Y'all know how I feel about Brian. Okay, I'm gonna give her a chance. It's a brand new. It's a brand new day. I'm gonna try to do what I can. All right. Brand new day. Brand new me. Brand new. Uh, brand new look. All right. We'll see what we can do. We gonna see what we can do. Okay. Y'all already know how I feel about Brian. Now, Brand is moving into a new apartment, i.e. the Bravo checks hit, okay? She moving into a new apartment, a bigger space, okay? She got herself a little dog. She bringing her brother, girl. This baby voice that Brand got, when I tell you, is so aggravating. I said, girl, I know you don't talk like that. I know you don't talk like that, because guess what? When you got gotten into an argument with Cy later on in the episode, towards the end of the episode, girl, you was cussing and fussing and carrying on. I said, uh -uh, I know you don't talk like that, okay? Now... Here's the thing. I know everybody code switch. We use different voices for different people. I'm not, that's not a thing. That's not a problem. But it's just this baby voice is so aggravating to me. Again, so I ain't gonna put my foot on her neck. I'm not putting my foot on her neck. I am just observing, okay? Anyway, the apartment that she moved into is real nice. I give her that. It's cute. It's cute or whatever. Anyway, real quick hot take before we get into everything. Before we get into everything. First of all, Sai, I see you, okay? What you're trying to do is quite, quite literally, okay? Housewives 101. You're trying to get yourself, you're trying to uh, partner up with the, the fan favorite, okay, and distance yourself from the one that everybody don't like. And you're also trying to clean up your, you know, I guess your image because you made such a terrible, terrible impression on all of us last season. Girl, you're not slick. We see you. We see you for your words. And so I got my good eye on you. I been got my good eye on you. Girls on here that I'm too much careful, but I ain't gonna say nothing, not just yet, okay? And then I believe that they're trying to ice brand out. I really do. Now, do I have an issue with that? Because I don't, y'all know how I feel about her, okay? I don't think it's right 100%, but I do see that they're trying to ice her out. Y'all get in the comments, let me know what y'all think about Sai and Brian. Okay, now we get to Jessel. Girl, <laughs> Jessel is a kiki girl. Jessel is funny and don't even know she's funny, girl. It's so funny. Let me look at my notes so I can make sure I do not miss any part of the Jessel scene with her husband, Poppet. So Poppet said he gonna take her down to go get something to eat, right? Vietnamese food, you know he loves him some Vietnamese food. Child, he said gonna take his wife down there, get dressed. We are gonna go, child. Jessel get dressed up. They get on the subway. Jessel looking like girl. Why did you bring me here, girl? I probably was in the Uber, girl feel out of place and I feel Jessel don't have me get dressed up you finna take me down to the McDonald's don't do that okay that was basically the equivalent of what Papa did uh I said don't play with my friend like that don't play with my friend don't play with friend okay do not do this to her but girl the way she was looking girl she was on there telling people down to the subway hey y'all they was, they was like don't do that she was like why not <laughs> Jessel is such a kiki I cannot anyway okay so they go to Chinatown and there's a restaurant called Carol's Buns, I think it was called Carol's Buns. And Jessel was like, Oh, what the hell? Where did you bring me, child? And now he's talking about he want to be an influencer, an influ a food influencer, but I married a banker. So you best not you best keep your day job. I know that's motherfucking right. Okay. I love Jessel. Anyway, so I think one of the producers asked Jessel, like, how much do you spend on Uber? You never take the subway? She was like, No, I never take the subway. What is it called? MTA? <laughs> no, girl, that's for the that's for the course. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Justin was like, no, is that MTA? Is that what it's called? Girl, that's for the pores. No. She's like, oh, I spent about 900 I spent last year $990 on Uber. I don't know if Robert knows me, but oh, my God. Anyway again okay so they get the food they sitting outside she just the, when the when the production team did the zoom out of the way they were sitting what is i don't know why this scene was such a fucking kiki to me they zoomed out the show where they were sitting on the side girl it was garbage on the side girl the pigeons girl, girl the, it just looks so janky and here she is and i'm pretty sure dior or celine or something expensive ass clothes and she looking put together and he looking all like he just going out to throw the trash away girl he, girl and then when he got to eat and girl i was looking at him like Ugh, you on tv food coming out his mouth just was looking at him like okay get your shit together now uh boy hello anyway so then he was like oh man i'm disappointed they didn't have a chicken feed and he was like okay it was a couple times where jessel was like okay <laughs> uh, uh, all right let's Let's move on okay let's move on because i don't have time for you and your shenanigans bitch. okay anyway so she was like the gift giving stopped when i had the babies but my birthday is coming up and i basically want a massage i want to come back home to a bunch of bags a chanel bag a prada bag a dolce and gabbana bag a bottega bag a celine bag right girl listen those are the dreams that i th those are the things i dream of girl okay come on jeff so i know that's right so they get into the conversation about having another baby. Y'all know every season on every Housewife franchise, they always talk about somebody having a baby. Jessel has been, I will give her that. Jessel has been talking about having a little girl since last season. So that makes, I'll give her that, okay? I was like, hell nah, I don't want no more kids, no more. Now, girl, I ain't gonna hold you. Them damn twins that they got. Girl, them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers bad as hell. And I know they kids, I know they gonna be like that. I know that, all that, all that, all that. Them motherfuckers bad as hell. Oh, okay period all right he was like well we could be having the next beyonce or the next elon musk and i was like girl why would you want another elon musk running around this world why probably was like well we could pass on the beyonce but i'll say elon musk i said oh uh, -uh see that's why you look like dory now that's why you look like dory now okay mm -mm. why the hell would you want to see i already know Pavit. don't make me mad don't make me mad because i already know aaron is a don't y'all don't make me mad don't make me don't make me mad pie don't make me mad all right so Aaron, Aaron uba and rebecca minkoff who's a major designer girl come on new york when i tell you new york baby the girls it's giving to me it's i love this show it's very entertaining i watched it twice enjoyed both times that i watched it would have watched it a third time but girl you people want me to do a little work today so uh, okay anyway now uba girl who I don't know. Uber look good. When I tell you Uber look the fuck good, Uber look the fuck good. Okay, girl, Uber had that blonde. I said Uber, girl, I know that's right, girl. Love look good on you, baby, cause honey, glowing. Even when she came down to the little coffee shop, girl, glowing. You look good, okay. Anyway, so it's Aaron, Uber, and Rebecca meet up. Now apparently, Uber and Aaron became you know, bosom buddies or whatever, but child, I wouldn't trust Aaron as far as I could throw her, child, but, you know, you know, you gotta, you gotta create an alliance with somebody on the show or whatever, and I guess Aaron was the willing participant, whatever. Now, Aaron is telling the girls about the situation with Brynn and Jenna, so apparently, Jenna's car broke down, One of her, you know, she got the antique car that's old, that's probably worth a whole lot of money, it, Jenna has this antique car, the antique car had them broke down. Aaron said, can I give you some money for Uber? She did that, right? And then Aaron said that Jenna never paid her back, okay? So that got translated to Brynn and I think Jessel saying that, oh my God, Jenna's having money problems. I, gave, I paid for her Uber because her car broke down and she never paid me back. Now, do I believe that Aaron said that about Jenna? I absolutely do. And here's the reason why. Because in a later scene, when she sat up there and tried to shame Abe for talking about them shrooms, I said, Aaron, you have a tendency to try to make things look a certain way when it comes to the light, right? You want it to look a certain way when it comes to the light, but you don't want to be, we'll get into it in just a second, okay? So. 
do I believe that Aaron said that Jenna is having money problems? Yes, I do. I do believe she said that. Did I think she said it jokingly? Mm, I don't think it was joking. I don't think so. I think it was like, huh, Jen Jenna Lyons having money problems? Uh-oh. I think it was kind of like that, right? So, anyway, this is Aaron, mad at Brynn. Call her said being mad at Brynn, although Aaron knows good damn well she always got something to say about somebody. So, I don't even know why she even trying to blame Brynn. Girl, if you stop running your goddamn mouth, maybe Brynn wouldn't have nothing to say to run back to, okay? It wouldn't have nothing to run back with, okay? But whatever. Because they say, my grandma used to say, if a dog can carry a bone, they'll bring one too, okay? But anyway, so... Aaron is telling Uba, you know, I can't believe she did that. She's always stirring a pot, yada, 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 blah, 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 okay? And Uba was like, child, I don't, you know, I don't know nothing about that. She shares with us something her man named Oliver. Now, who is Oliver? Why we can't meet Oliver? Is he running from the law, okay? I don't understand this here. People not bringing a, a significant others on the TV. Uba, we need to see Oliver, okay? If you're going to be in a relationship with him, if you're going to be talking about him, I want to see what he is, or I'm going to think that you're lying and he's imaginary. Come on, him. All right? We ain't got time. We don't have time for all of that. All right? She is talking about having children. Nah, girl, I don't know about all that, girl. Nah, wait a minute now, okay? I don't know about you having no kids with no... Ma do, he, do he make more than you? Girl, I'm going to need you to make sure you assess both of y'all's portfolios before you start bringing kids up into the situation because I do not want you to become a Kenya more. We love Kenya, but girl, she got... Yeah, dudes, okay? Anyway, so... We find out that Brynn is having a party for her brother. Now, I'm not exactly sure why she's having a little party for her brother, but it's got something to do with her brother. And just an excuse for all the girls to get on the damn camera and talk about each other and get in each other's face. So I get fuss and fight, yeah, okay? Now, Aaron says that she gonna go. She want Rebecca to come. And Uba says she gonna come, but she gonna be late. You say, Uba, you always late, girl. Always late, okay? Now, I think I'm real quick with Rebecca. She said something about, oh, yeah, I know Cy. She's basically running down all the girls that she know that's in the group or whatever. And he says, oh, yeah, I know Cy when the whole mommy influencer thing was popular. That's when I met Cy. Was that shade? Or maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe I just don't like uh, Cy and I'm reading too much into things. Was that shade, y'all? I felt like that was kind of shade. Y'all get in. Let me know. All right, now, Brian goes to the furniture, furniture store. Invite Jenna and Jessel. Girl, talking about Jessel don't got no taste. She said, girl, you know what? All the, the heavy hitters that were up in that damn house uh, last season, with Jessel, girl, don't play with us. Don't play with us. Jessel has a wonderful taste, love. Okay, w what do you have, Brynn? That's all I be. Brynn, you tried it. Okay, you tried it. You tried it. I, I ain't gonna say nothing else. You y'all already know how I feel about that girl. <laughs> y'all already know how I feel about that girl. So anyway, Jessel was like, I hope Brynn invited me because she thinks I have great taste. I'm sorry, Jessica, girl. When you hit back, when you hit a confessional back, child, I hope you have some fun. Anyway, girl, apparently Jenna had B.O. Girl, we are too grown to be walking around with body odor, girl. What's going on, girl? I hope you're not using that nature shit. That native deodorant, girl, don't use that. Girl, you got to use the girl. Listen, 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 I know the aluminum. I know the people say the aluminum cause all kinds of body issues and things like that. Girl, I'm going to just have tinfoil floating in my bloodstream because, girl, I'm not going to be saying. Girl, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sorry. Okay? Anyway, so... Oh, my God. I was just thought about Jessel. Jessel went up to sniff on Jenna. She was like, ooh, ugh, Jenna, you almost sit over here. She was like, I'm just kidding. In the confessional, she was like, I am not kidding. Jessel is such a, why is Jessel so damn funny? It's crazy. I am not kidding. She is not kidding. Okay, so we bring up the whole Aaron. Did Aaron say this thing? Did she do the uh huh, girl? Brand was like, why would I lie about that? Jessel was like, well, she did say it, but I think maybe she was just joking. Maybe she was saying it in jest, okay? But I think Jessel was saying, I don't remember all of this, but I'm thinking that basically trying to give Aaron a lifeline. Like, yeah, I don't know if she said it, but maybe if she did, maybe she said it in jest. I don't know, okay? Ooh, I forgot about the podcast. So they bring up the podcast. Brynn is still mad about something that happened on a podcast so i watched the episode twice but i watched the podcast segment and was like what the hell did aaron say that that was that made her mad i don't know i don't know okay so basically the gist y'all get in the comments and let me know if i missed something because i'm still like girl what the hell aaron said so they brought up brand on the podcast to, to aaron aaron went with two other guys i can't remember the name of the podcast they were like we think brand Brand's lifestyle is supported by some man okay now girl they ain't saying nothing we ain't <laughs> Okay, they ain't saying nothing all of us ain't already saying, okay? Now, Aaron was like, no, I don't think so. I think she takes care. I know she has a lot of money. You know, I work. I know she worked. 
for a certain amount of years, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. And so Aaron was like, the, man, the guy was like, so you don't think she got a man that's taking care of her? She was like, no, I don't think so. The guy was like, yeah, I do. I think she's got an arrangement. Now, girl, what part of Aaron said something crazy that made her feel like she had to lash out with Aaron? I was like, man, girl. Okay, girl. And if you were, if you were a sugar baby girl, take your money. Like so I said, girl, take your money and run, girl. Don't nobody give a damn. So, girl, you, you, your, your whole idea, your whole illusion is to give vixen. Girl, you, what the hell is the vixen for? You trying to sick of her? She get on my goddamn nerves anyway. Whatever. Okay. So I wrote up to Aaron's defense. She ain't say nothing wrong. She really didn't. So I and Jessica go to this cold therapy place. I said, please, Cy, we see you. You trying to link up with Jessel because she's the fan favorite. You trying to ice out Brian because don't nobody too much care for her. And you trying to distance yourself from her. And you're trying to rebrand yourself to be this cool, calm, collected person. Even told us she going to therapy. Girl. Uh, Brian told Jenna that Cy said Cy hates Jenna. Girl, you did. Why are you why are you lying? I don't believe that side. Did I say that I hate Jenna? No, you said you don't care for her. Girl, that's the same. That, girl, that's still to me. To me. You say you don't care for me? You don't like me. you It's the same. So you backtracking, you backpedaling and pussy popping because you want to make sure that you try to keep this image so that you're not attacking all the people that are the fan fave. Jenna Lyons is a fan fave, right? Jessel is a fan fave. We trying to make sure you stay on the good side of all the fan favorites because the last last season your ass got ate up. Girl, but bye. Okay? Bye. Now Jenna shoe, we yeah, I think last season we saw Jenna. She does like this annual thing where she clears out her her collection, her shoe collection, dress co clothes collection. Y'all already know Jenna Lyons is like this amazing fashion designer and all this other stuff. And we know who she is. Jenna fucking Lyons. Okay, get it together. Now Jenna is in a relationship and the, the the her girlfriend's mama is down to the house helping her. This is the first time that they met. Why in the hell are we meeting the mama before we meet the girlfriend? Is the girlfriend running from the law? Do do she owe is she owing back taxes? Is the IRS looking for the girlfriend? Because why in the hell are we not seeing the girlfriend? I don't want to see the girlfriend, mama. I want to see the girlfriend. What's going on? Anyway, we get introduced to Raquel. Raquel is lovely. Raquel gives Jenna Lyons energy. Also, an art curator, artsy, very much, you know, rocker, that kind of thing. She was also in a relationship with a man at one point, and they both came out at the same time. We're getting a divorce and coming out at the same time, so they relate, they relate to each other very well. I thought that was pretty dope. I do like Raquel. I think she's a good addition. Um... And she said something about her mom, her her and her mom not having a good relationship because her mom went back to Puerto Rico. I think there was some mess going on between Raquel and Mel, who she's engaged to be married to. I think it was Mel was married to somebody at one point, and then Mel's or Raquel's mama was introduced to Mel while Mel was married. So Mel's Raquel mama remembered a wife, and she was married. It was some old girl. They had a little cloudy history. Okay. But I ain't finna get all of their business. It's not like, like that, like that. Aaron no. and Abe. Let me cut to the chase because this video is getting entirely too long, but I had so much to say. I had so much to say. I love New York, girl. This is my, one of my shows, okay? So excited it's back. Aaron, do you like this man? Do you like him at all? Okay? I don't, they have had marital issues since season one, but they tried, or season 14, but they tried to act like wasn't going on. I ain't buying it, okay? Now, this guy know that Aaron said what she said because. Thank you. Shout out to production. Okay, so they go to a coffee shop. Coffee shop, ice cream shop with the kids. Kids in there, they talking. The kids go somewhere else, okay? So they done moved to, i.e., the Bravo check done hit. They done moved from one place to another place, and now they think about moving to another place to go into a townhome because they want a house, okay? They living in apartments, and they want a home. Now, Aaron is like, I want to do this, but Abe was like, are you sure? Because you're going to have to gut the whole entire town hall. Are you ready for that renovation project, et cetera, et cetera. She was like, yes, but I need you to come see it, okay? There's like a mural of cherubs on the roof, on the wall, on the ceiling. Sorry is what I was trying to say. He said, oh, wow, we should take some mushrooms and go and trip out. She was like, don't say that. Don't say that. And he was like, well, what did I say? She was like, don't be saying stuff like that. That's dumb. He was like, well, you have said it before. Shout out to production. Shout out to production because she has said it before, okay? And so, or she had said something like that. She was like, I don't have a problem with him talking like that with friends, but on camera, that's dumb. She's like, are you dumb? I was like, see, that's how I know Brian, Aaron, 
Sorry, white women. I can't get y'all. <laughs> My bad. I was getting y'all mixed up. White women that I do not like. Sorry, because I'm not a fan of Aaron either. But see, that's how I know, Aaron, that you be in that line. Because why you couldn't be honest about that? Why did you have to have try to correct him to make him seem like like clean up his image? Girl, what's the problem? Girl, if you're doing it, you're doing it because you damn sure did it last season. Okay? So, girl, what you talking about? Girl, I said, oh, child, she not real. I feel like if, you gonna, if you're going to talk about your life, keep it real at a, a 100%. If there's anything about your life that you're trying to hide and cover up and be phony about, then, girl... I don't really know if you're real. I really don't. I don't. Girl, in my haste to try to hurry up and cover everything, but then also not forget anything, but not looking at my notes, I forgot to mention Aaron's mom. Oh my goodness. And now I sound and look like a whole butthole. I am so sorry, Aaron. I may not like you like that, okay? But my heart goes out to Aaron. Her mother has cancer and she's battling and she hasn't told her children. And so it's a whole thing. And so our hearts go out to her you know, to Aaron, I hope that her mother will pull through. I'm sure we'll have more information about this, but definitely sorry, Aaron, girl. My bad, my bad, my bad. For real, for real. I got carried away and I forgot to mention that. But shout out to Aaron, shout out to A, shout out to their family. And I hope her mother pulls through strong and becomes a survivor. Um, yeah, that that's that's really sad to hear. So anyway, all right, we get to the rooftop lounge, girl. Oh my God. It did not have to be this. It really didn't. But obviously it had to be okay it didn't have to be but it did so oh girl jenna's dress did look like a vajay on its period girl a white lady pink of course right okay so anyway side shoes were cute oh i loved her shoes now i have to get used to this i have to get used to seeing side wearing i have to see women who are not i'm gonna have to get used to seeing them wear braids and things like i'm having to get because it's kind of like women with without 4c hair that's what i'm saying women who do not have 4c hair i have to get used to them wearing braids and things like that. i just kind of like hmm, your hair is not 4c though did you put 4c hair in your head just to do that i don't know i don't want to get that started because i know somebody gonna be like oh well black women wear weed and brazil which is apples to oranges but anyway okay but i just i don't know i just i don't know I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have to get used to it. It's fine. But her shoes were real cute. Okay. So, Aaron sent, apparently, Aaron sent Jessel a text saying, I'm so disappointed. Basically, after the conversation that Jessel, Brynn, and Jenna had at the furniture store, I guess Jenna went back to Aaron and told her. And then Aaron texted Jessel saying, I'm so disappointed. Brynn was like, I didn't get a text message at all. I guess she fisted at me. Okay. So, girl, let's, let's. Let's get to the money. Actually, hold on. I do have two other things I want to talk about. Side clears things up with Jenna again. Jenna is over here. Jenna is the fan favorite. Side is the person that didn't nobody like. And so side, in order to keep her ass from getting chewed out this entire season, she's trying to kiss up to all the fan favorites. She's over here apologizing. You know, I didn't say I didn't care for you. Aaron was like, oh, I didn't say I hated you. Aaron was like, you said you didn't care for her. She was like, oh, I said that? I mean, but I did. It, I hate you and I don't care for you. It's two different things. Girl, you still said you don't like this lady. Girl, you, you said that. You said it. Okay, move on. But you know, you know, I love you, Jenna. It was just because I didn't think that you were being yourself, girl. Who the hell are you? Okay, who the hell are you? I said, side girl, go away from me with this. Bye, 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 bye. I don't know how somebody got behind the bartender thing, started trying to mix drinks. Girl, got olives and cherries mixed up. Girl, that bartender was not happy. Girl, and was like, get y'all asses from my goddamn. He was mad. Okay, Aaron and Jessel, they get into it. Now, not Jessel, but Aaron started it. And then Sai comes in to try to finish it with Brand. okay? So Aaron is talking to Jessel. And Jessel, I think Jessel makes a comment about how she wants to try uh, espresso martini with a different type of alcohol. And Aaron was like, oh, I, I would love to try that, but um, you need to stop being so mean to me. And Jessel was like, girl, what the hell are you talking about? Girl, well, well, let's talk about it. Since you sent me a text message, let's talk about it. She was like, here, Aaron, you just passive aggressively told her that she was she was being mean to you so if you gonna talk about that then yes bitch here Aaron, get, oh my god this is exhausting okay so she then says yeah let's talk about it jenna come over here so jenna Dessel, so Aaron, you told jenna that i said that I, that she's poor and all this other stuff and she was like well i think you might have said it jokingly i don't know girl this one 
It was two things. Two things. Jenna was like, oh, my God, I do not want to fight. I just want to sit here in my cute little vagina dress. I don't know why that was funny to me. I don't. It was too damn funny. And then here go Jessel. She was like, listen, I don't have, I don't remember. I don't know. Got mom brain. Okay. So in a confessional, she was like, you know what? I just tell people I've got mom brain. I'm a, a mother to twins. I don't remember anything. I don't get much sleep. Job done. I t- Jen are such a key key to me. Like, oh my God. It's so fucking funny to me. It's so funny. I'm sorry. Anyway. Aaron, here we go. I don't know why they be bringing their kids up. I don't know why they do this. As if mothers can't lie, okay? As if becoming a mother, pushing a kid out your coochie makes you, <laughs> absolves you from being a liar. Like, I don't, I'm a mother of three children and I care about my friends and I'm a mother of three children and I would never do that. I have integrity. Oh my God, girl, please, okay? So then Brand comes over, okay? And Brian was like, girl, what's going on? She's like, ugh. She's like, ugh, what's wrong with you? So Aaron and Brian go back and forth and forth and back. Now, as soon as she hear Brian come over there and them going back and forth and forth and back, girl, so I get up from where she at when Rebecca get up to go over there and get it. I said, look at side raggedy, tired ass, trifling heifer. As soon as she saw Brian get into it, she wanted a piece. I said, uh uh-uh, girl. Get your own. Get your own. Have your own moment. Don't be trying to coattail. Don't be trying to get up on the coattails of everybody else's moment. Heifer. It's my damn nerves. Okay. So they're like, Aaron was like, how could you say that to me? You know, da, 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 da. she was like, well, how could you go on that podcast and talk about me and say I sleep with men for money? Bitch, who cares? Okay, everybody literally in the confessional was like, girl, so? Jessel was like, girl, I literally had a billionaire email me the other day and his assistant said that the dress code had to be a white t-shirt and a G-string. I mean, if I didn't have a husband and children, I'd be absolutely be on that plane girl yes girl everybody want a sugar daddy hell even my boyfriend we all want sugar daddies girl we try okay it's not a day that goes by that me and my girlfriends are talking about where the sugar daddies at girl i want a sugar daddy that don't want no sugar girl here okay <laughs> that don't want no sugar he just want to give out the sugar give me the sugar okay please pay the bills i want to go just do nothing i want to sit down and just be glamorous for the rest of my life with no work no nothing no worries forever okay please girl who doesn't want to live like that jenna i mean brian hey, you you lying like just be honest who cares okay anyway so she they they get into it and i think Sai says something like see brian something is unwell you've been a you've been a problem since the beginning and brian was like why did you bring why are you even in this what nobody even talking about you what nobody, what nobody even talking to you oh girl and here go uh Sai, she was like yeah, i just think that you're the problem you're the cancer in this group you're the issue in this group oh my god she was like I don't know how I got to it, but here goes side. Not today, Satan. Not today. I said, You've been with a lot of black you've been hang you've been you've been hanging with black women. I could tell you've been trying to was that effective? Did, did, did that it, it just came off real phony to me. It was kind of like not today, Satan, girl. You saying why does this camp girl? You, you saying girl. What you talking about? Both of y'all, both of y'all, both of y'all in the same fiery pit, girl. What you talking about? Oh, child, I'm exhausted. So I exhaust me. Brand exhaust me. Aaron exhaust me. Y'all hate each other. And now that you know that Jenna and Jessel are the fan favorite, y'all trying to like basically point the finger at each other, right? <laughs> Spider-Man. Okay. It's you. No, it's you. No, it's you. No, bitch. It's all of y'all. It really is. Quiet as it's kept. Okay. Praise God for Raquel. Praise God for Rebecca. Praise God for Jenna and Jessica. Girl, oh my God. Now, while this is a very, sh- this is a show, I do know that everybody can't be the, you know, the shoot them up, bang, bang drama here and there. So I do appreciate Bryn and Aaron and Cy. I do not want them to not be on the show, but I do understand that they are the problem starters. Okay. Anyway, and Uber gets there late. Girl, I said, Uber girl, why are you going to be, are you going to be on the episode at all the show at all in the season? Because, girl, last season, your ass was badly there, girl. I think she was in maybe three of the 10, 12 episodes. Girl, are Uber, are you going to be there? Anyway, y'all, get in the comments. This video was entirely too long, but I had so much to say. I forgot to also mention the um taglines, girl. Some taglines. Girl, what did y'all think about the taglines? I think Jenna and Uber 
had the best tagline, was it? I look good in it. What is it? What is it? Oh, Uber, I look, love looks good on me, but darling, what doesn't? But like, yes, come on. What was it, Jessel? Jessel said, oh, Jessel, Jenna, and Uber. That was it. Jessel, Jenna, and Uber had my, my the favorite taglines. So Uber, I think I just gave Uber. Jessel was... I'm not up and coming. I'm already that. I love that one. And then Jenna, I'm Jenna fucking Lyons. You can try to be or something like that. But it was cute. That was cute. Yes. The rest of them, ooh, sigh. I'm not hungry. I may be hungry, but at least I'm not thirsty. You actually are because you you running up behind Jenna and Jessel now. Girl, please. You thirsty. Being thirsty. Always thirsty. Okay. And then Brand talking about she mother. I don't want, I don't want, why be their daddy when, why get with their daddy when I can be your mama? Girl, that and I, I know, I know you thought you ate with that girl, but that don't sound right, girl. That sound a little weird. That sound a little weird. And then Aaron in the cocktail of life, I'm shaking, never stirred. Lies, the lies, because you absolutely were stirred when a put your business out that you do shrooms. Okay, it's legal in New York, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, get in the comments. Per usual, let me know what you think about the episode. Don't forget to like this video before you leave. Check out my merch store, y'all. I don't have any merch on me today, but check out my merch, the Bell Perspective TV merch.com. Girl, I'm gonna have a new shipment coming so I can show y'all my new stuff. But check out the merch store, bro. Okay, get into it. Let me know what you think about the episode. Don't forget to like this video before you leave. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Oh, sorry, it was so long, also. Okay, take care. By the way, just got in town. And I won't let you me this cloud all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since we're